channel Mannu Ishu ACCA classes. So in this video, I will be starting from the employment income topic, and I'm I'm I will be explaining a small small concept in the small small video, so that it will be easy for you guys to remember the rules and apply it into the scenario. Okay. So till date, we have completed the basic of our uh income you uh tax and our pension income property income and for basic student tax efficient way to invest the money okay so in today's video this is the first video of the employment income and in coming future i will complete it very soon so till date uh, please be stay tuned with my channel for this kind of video and if you are watching my video for the first time do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates okay so in this video we will be learning the factor which will determine whether the particular uh, um, job is or whatever the individual is doing is self employment or employment because you will get a solo question to uh, determine whether the person is doing the employment or the self employment i have found two three question uh, where they have been asked to uh, determine or state the factor or, or they will ask they will give a scenario where you have to apply whether the person is doing the self employment or employment so what are the factor that will determine whether individual is doing the employment let's talk about this okay so basically in order to determine whether the individual is doing the employment income these eight are the factor there might be more but from exam point of view learn this eight point okay so first is the contract of service <laughs> so contract of service means like uh, you have given uh, you have been uh, you have a contract with your employer where they will outline your role and responsibility yeah they will uh, out, uh, outline the terms and condition yeah in case of self self employment there will be no such contract no such terms and condition yeah so if there is contract where the terms and condition your role and responsibility has been defined that means it's a employment first factor second factor is obligation of the work means you have to perform those work by yourself you cannot delegate those to work your family member or friend or anybody else you can't say your employer okay i will be on leave today my my sister will do this work my family member do this work no they will not allow such means uh, the obligation is falls on you you are responsible for that work and you have to complete it by yourself this is the in case of the employment but in case of self employment you can delegate your work to the family member friend and anybody else no matter right third condition a uh, third factor is place of work usually employer decide the location of the work they will uh, decide where you have to uh, work they will decide the location they will uh, um, allow you to relocate okay so basically the place are decided by the employer whereas in case of self employment you can decide by on where you have to operate you can work from home you can go through the like uh, if you are suppose you run the shop you will go and operate there right so these are the third factor now fourth payment means if you are doing work for someone you will be get paid uh, for the doing the work in return you will get the payment from your employer as i am i am working in one of the uh, firm so i am getting the salary i am getting the other benefit i am getting the sick leave sick uh, leave paid right and uh, there are much more factor so basically what i mean to say mean to say is if you are working for your employer you will get something in return from your employer that's the amount that's a salary but yeah in self employment you also get the like um, you also earn the money but you don't take in the form of salary it's uh, it's all depend on you whether you want to withdraw those money or you want to invest in the business right okay so fifth is the equipment equipment means employer provide you a necessary tools or equip equipment like i i said i am working in the firm and my employer has provided me a laptop or or they will provide anything which i want to perform his duties okay so they will make it available whereas in, in case of self employment i have to make this arrangement by own i will use my personal laptop in my self employment business 
right but in case of implement no we can't use our personal laptop okay so the equipment to whatever required to perform the duties will be provided by the employer okay now six is insurance insurance means employer often arrange arrange insurance cover for employee like nic or or sometimes uh, you, you you will might have seen that uh, employer also provide a health insurance to their medical insurance to their employee so this will be the uh, provided by the employer in self employment it's depend on you whether you want to take the insurance or not right okay and second last is the financial risk means in uh, this will be understand from the self employment perspective more like uh, i am doing the business okay i have I, i am the online retailer suppose if anything happens my business won't go uh, like uh, if well suppose the covid has been uh, come up and my business have been down so whatever the risks faced by the business that will be bear by me that ha- that that have to be uh, i will be responsible how i will manage my business how it it will be go uh, perform in the going concern or not everything every risk will be fall on me a uh, solo but in case of the employment you can you might have been seen that some of the company are still paying salary to their employee during the covid time so employee do not have any financial risk in case of whatever the mis happening uh, happens around their environment right so here in case of employment financial risk is borne by employer right okay and last is the control employee exercise significant control over how when and where the work should be done so you are solely under the control of your employer they will say you you have to perform this duty they will say you you have to do this by this way you can't just put it uh, you you can use your own logic you can do whatever you want to do in the office right so it means you are under the control of someone okay so basically these eight of uh, there might be much, many more but uh, i have listed an eight so these are the factor that helps you to distinguish between what is the employment and what is the self employment and it is very important from the tax and legal purpose so in this video we understand the factor which will determine the employment in next video we will uh, learn how to calculate employment income i hope this video is very useful and for this kind of video please stay tuned with my youtube channel so thank you so much and hit the like and subscribe button if you really found this helpful thank you so much guys bye